Good afternoon, Bulldog football alums. I'd like to introduce myself to you. My name is Joe Polka. I'm the new head football coach at Adrian College. And I would just like to give a, a warm welcome to all our football alumni out there. A couple things I'd like to do with this video today. First, introduce myself, tell you a little bit about me and where I came from. Past 12 years, I was a head football coach at Saline, Michigan. I was also the head football coach the previous six years at Whitmer High School in Toledo, Ohio. And prior to that, I coached at Eastern Michigan where I had the secondary, two of the special teams, and I was also the recruiting coordinator. However, in the early 2000s, I was here for a year and I had a chance to make a ton of great connections with guys like Chad O'Brien, Dan Simmons, J.R. Zapata, Jim Lyle, Aaron Klotz. It was a wonderful experience for me and I always looked back at that time thinking this would be a great place to be a head coach if the opportunity presented itself. Well, it has and I'm here because in part, I think this can be a great place. I know it has a great tradition in the past and I would like to help move us forward and connect and bridge that past to our current group of players and the exciting times that I believe are ahead for Adrian College football. I'd like to fill you in on two quick things Currently, I would like to tell you the state of our recruiting. We've been at it for about two and a half months right now, and we have a ton of great players already lined up and committed to come to Adrian College. A number of those guys have been guys in the local area, including Adrian High, Clinton, Blissfield, um, all of our surrounding area in Lenawee County, down through Toledo, Monroe County, as well as suburban Detroit have been key areas for us. And we've even branched out uh, more into Northern Indiana. We feel we have some great commitments that are going to be high impact guys at Adrian College. So in a short amount of time, our staff has done a great job and it's been easy to attract players to Adrian College based on the tradition and also based on the current facilities and the direction of the program. The second thing I'd like to talk about is our current players. Our guys have done a great job. There's been a little bit of a learning curve with the new staff, but they continue to get better every day. And those are things that we've tried to impress upon them. They're looking the right way. They're acting the right way. They're carrying themselves around campus the right way. There's definitely been a buzz of positivity that follows our team and our coaching staff around campus right now. One of our jobs is to be a great representation of the program, the past, and Adrian College. And I think our current players are in process of doing that right now. So I wanted to give you a state of the program to let you know what's happened in the two and a half months since we've been here. Really probably the more important part of this message today is just our willingness and our openness to embracing the importance and the traditions of our past. Adrian College, wherever I go, has an outstanding reputation and you would be amazed at the amount of contacts that we've come across in recruiting that are former Adrian College coaches or players and have also been associated with the program in championship years, in solid years, and even in tough years, they all walk around with a great deal of pride for Adrian College. Our goal as a staff and as a new program is to be able to bridge that back together, to get our current group of guys to understand and embrace the traditions of the past and the alumni of the past. So with that being said, I would like to offer to the group that I'm talking to today, our alumni, the vehicles or the touch points or the connection points that that could happen. Number one, you're welcome to stop by anytime. Spring practice, in the office, in the weight room, wherever it may be, we are open to you at any point in time. I would welcome and offer anybody the opportunity to email, to text. Anytime I come across an alumni that I have a chance to, to meet and greet with, I'm willing to meet, to sit down, to exchange numbers, we just would like to one by one build that alumni base and build that connection to the past. Very important to our current staff and to our players right now that we do that. There'll be some more formal opportunities coming up in the next few weeks that I think could provide a great opportunity. We start spring practice on March 22nd. We're gonna go Friday evenings from six to eight, Saturdays from nine to 11, and we'll go on Mondays from 3.30 to 5.30, and we'll go all the way up until April 27th. We would love to have our alumni come back and visit any of those practices, be on the field, meet with our coaches, talk to our players. To that end, anytime an alum is back, I would like to have you come in, meet our staff, and if our players are in any type of group work at that time, to be able to pull that whole group up and tell a little bit about your story to our current football players. We think that's very important. We've had several guys volunteer to do that so far, and I would love to have that happen at every practice if possible. We also will maintain our golf outing and work to enhance it. Uh, it'll be the same date as it was last year. Corresponding this year would be on June 14th. 
The venue this year will be at Tecumseh Country Club and it will be a 9 a.m. shotgun start. We'd love to have as many people back to that as possible to meet the new staff. And again, our players will be on hand as well. It would be another touch point to be able to connect with them. Anytime that we have a formal setting football wise, and the first one we would look to do that with would be on April 27th would be our spring finale. We would like to have a barbecue on that day and make that more of an event for our alumni to be back along with our recruits for the coming season and their parents. It could be a really festive day, a great opportunity to get to know us even more. And then even looking ahead next year, um, I'm excited to tell you that game two will be a home game. It'll be at night at seven o'clock. It'll be against Madonna University, which is an NAIA school. It will be a big deal for us. It'll be a blackout here. It'll be a great environment for our players and we want to honor our football alumni that night. So there'll be more information to come on that but I want to have that on your radar that that will be a great opportunity to connect with all the teams of the past in addition to the separate reunions that you would typically have. Finally, what I'd like to talk about is I felt it was important to get with a group of ex-coaches and ex-players to form a formal vehicle for connectivity. So what we've established has been the Bulldog Alumni Football Club. It's kicking off right now and we're set to launch it in conjunction with our spring practices starting on March 22nd. I think it's important for you to know that we've been able to get a group together with a cross section of greats from the past. Ron Labadee is involved in that. Jim Lyle is involved in that. Mike Duffy is involved in that. John Krimmel is involved in that. Taz Wallace, Kevin Fry, Aaron Klotz, just to name a few. Uh, it's a phenomenal committee that's working with myself and our current staff to establish this club. Uh, more information will follow on that in terms of membership and you know what other things that we can offer you through membership in that club. I think it's important for you to know that I'm not asking for anything right now. What we're asking for is the ability to reconnect with our alumni base. And this Bulldog Alumni Football Club will give us the opportunity to do that. We would also like to use a club to utilize the resources of our alums. And to me, that can be things as simple as speaking with our players, things as simple as helping me in the recruiting process in your local schools and talking about Adrian College to prospects that we may have interest in. It could be getting on the phone with a recruit to talk about the field of study that you had here at Adrian College and your success in the business world. We are telling our recruits that our alumni base is very, very strong and that alumni base will get reconnected with us and hopefully have the opportunity to help our future Bulldogs out in the workforce as they graduate with a great degree from Adrian College. So really, it's a point of connectivity and ability to bring all of our alumni back, embrace them, and at the same time, utilize the resources that we can all put together to put a championship product on the field, one that our alumni can be proud of, our college can be proud of, and the city of Adrian can be proud of. So look for more information on the future coming from me. The biggest thing that we'd like to do is if you get nothing else out of this short video is that we want to hear from you. We want to get your contact information. We want to establish a large network that has the ability to come together over Adrian College football, the team that we all know and love. Go Bulldogs.